Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Today we are so close to getting a really easy achievement that just happened to pop up for us. We're going to try for the Sky Harbor achievement, which is to make a delivery to the Phoenix Airport. And my understanding is we have to pick something that goes to the Phoenix Freight Company, which is at the airport in Phoenix. And we've got some milk here. So I don't know why they get a lot of milk going to the airport, but let's grab it, take it and see if that helps to unlock the achievement. On the way, we can stop by Digi Rules, our Digi Rules the World's house and say hi to him. Let's get right started. So we're gonna go pick up some milk. I hope everybody's doing okay. A big day today, or yesterday, I wasn't quite paying attention so closely, but the next DLC in American Truck Simulator was announced, right? And of course, I think we all guessed correctly what it would be, which would be Montana. That's right. Montana is the next one coming out, I assume after Texas. So it's still probably a good ways away, right? But I mean, that made sense. When you look at the map, right, it's the big chunk left in the western part of the United States that really hasn't been covered yet. So it kind of makes sense that Montana would be the thing that would show up next for sure. So, whoops, Did I go the wrong way here. Oh, no, we're good. So we'll go pick up the milk and then we'll see when we get there. There it is over there. We are here at Walbert, picking up a big milk container at Walbert. Back right up, get this going. It's fun to go driving again. I haven't been an American truck simulator for a while. Got kind of busy with life and stuff like that, but there we go. We are all ready to go. Let's take a look at this. Nice. Oh, this is a, no, it's a single. Yeah, for a second I thought it was a double, but let's get on the road here. We got to make some money. Now we've only got 46,000. I think our goal has to be somewhat quickly here to get another truck. Again, the idea now is let's see if we can start building up this trucking empire in American truck simulator. See if we can catch up to our Euro truck simulating empire. That would be kind of cool. Let's come around here. We're going to make this corner. We're doing okay, huh? Yep, we got it. Oop, don't want to hit the pipe, the, the light pole there. All righty, so <clears throat> we'll get out of Flagstaff here. Head out onto the highway. Looks like we've got some city driving with a lot of lights, which is always a good time. Convertibles down here in Arizona, even though it's November. Hot stuff down here. I don't know how they take the temperatures down here. I mean, right now I'm in Minnesota, right? And it's November and it is snow. We got snow on the ground a little bit. Whoa. Oh yeah, I got him pretty good. $900 fine. That was a bad corner. I gotta focus. I gotta focus. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna focus for a little bit. I'm trying to talk and that's hard for focusing stuff. All right, now I'm focused. But it only, I think we're only making 6,000 on this job. We've already done about $1,000 worth of damage by cracking up that car. I hope the milk's not leaking, but we won't cry. Get it? <laughs> uh, sometimes I'm so funny. But yeah, the weather's nice down here. But yeah, like in Minnesota right now, I mean, it's cold. Our ground is frozen. We got, a little, we got like a light covering of snow and stuff like that. And it's only, what is it, November 18th? So yeah, I bet there's still 90, 80 degrees down in Arizona and stuff. Yeah, I don't know how they take the heat down there. 120 in the summer. It's like, you can't even go outside, you know? We can go outside all the time. I mean, it might be minus 40. You freeze to death in like four minutes, but you could still go outside and stuff, you know? But anyway, I'm pretty excited about my, as much as it was kind of be predictable, but predicted and predictable, I'm, I'm kind of excited about Montana. And the beta for 1.43 is out. And I was looking over here before at a lot of the achievements that we can do in American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator. And I'm pretty excited about trying for some of these heavy cargo and special cargo deliveries. I've been having some fun doing those. So I think maybe concentrate on those. And there's some forestry machinery deliveries here in American Truck Simulator. If we go up to Washington, there's like so many things to do as well as build our empire. And I think, if I'm not mistaken too, this might actually take us over another level, which would mean we could buy some upgrades for the truck, which is always the challenge, right? Do you stay focused on expanding your empire or do you buy the latest hood ornament for your truck? Tough decisions in life, you know? I feel like my driving isn't very good today, but we'll see what we can do. All right, there we go. Now we're making good time. I feel like I'm all over the place for some reason. Another convertible. Should we take this one out too? Running off the road. Well, anyway, we'll plug along. About an hour and 45 minutes left in this short little jaunt across Arizona. 
Not sure if we've been to Fla Flagstaff, um, to Phoenix before in the game. I think this might be our first visit. I don't know why that car's going so slowly out of my way. I feel like sometimes I have to slow down to play the game well. You no, know, to drive better, right? It's like if you have a busy day, that's one thing I always appreciate. Like some, I, I like complicated games and I like challenging games, but maybe other people that play this game feel this way too. There's just something about just the the level of challenge of this game that I think it makes it relaxing, but not so relaxing that it's boring. Yet it's a really nice thing when you're looking for something just to kind of calm down at the end of the day. And you don't want to be super challenged, but you really don't want to just watch like television or watch a video or something like that. So yeah, just feel like and you get to see stuff. Bringing the milk home to the airport. What are they going to do with all this milk at the airport? Doesn't really make sense. Oh, Ahmed gets 6,800 for us. And we are up to 52,000. Ahmed's doing well and he's just leveled up again. Nice. I think he's made more money already than Jana Kay. I never see her name come up still. I still think she's just watching Netflix all the time. Speaking of which, our, my better half and I have almost finished, well, have gotten almost done with Squid Games. And I think it's highly overrated. I, hey, I'm sure there's people out there who just love it, but I'm not one of them. And actually, if you can believe it, I am in the ninth episode, the last episode, right where this big epic thing is going on. And I'm just like, yeah, I'll come back to it later. I think part of the problem for me with Squid Games is, right, that I don't really, I don't care about the characters there. So they just, I don't, like, I'm not, I started to root for the characters, and then, like, stuff happens, right? I don't want to give anything away, because I'm sure there's people out there that haven't watched Squid Games and are thinking to watch Squid Games, and you don't expect to get Squid Game spoilers on American Truck Simulator, right? That's not something you should... I feel like that would be like a breach of internet etiquette if I like gave Squid Game spoilers away while driving American Truck Simulator in Arizona to drip, drip, deliver milk to the airport. That would just probably like tick people off to no end. So I'm not going to give any spoilers away. But I will say that like I just don't feel like the characters are I'm people I'm kind of rooting for. And for a while I was and then like some stuff happened and I'm like I don't really care. I just don't care about the people. So there you go. Anyway, I, I hope to finish that, but I'm just not all in all that much of a hurry. So there you have it. Then I want to start Game of Thrones because I've never finished that. Oops, we're going to make a right hand turn. I'm here yapping away. Get out of the way, car. There we go. Push it out of the way. Let's not hit this guy. Oh, we're getting pretty close. It's only 40 minutes away. So let's, uh, let's check in as we get a little bit closer. Oh, here we are. Phoenix discovered. We have not been here yet. Six out of 16 Arizona cities now. And looks like we're heading to Sky Harbor, which is, they got the little airplane sign. So we're doing pretty well, I think. We might get this achievement. It always amazes me in the game. So this achievement's making a delivery to this one. So 19% of players have this achievement, which feels really low. It's just make a delivery. Maybe people just don't pay attention or care about the achievements, I guess, huh? I suppose, too. Some of the achievements, right, take a lot of kind of concentrated effort. And there's so many places you can make deliveries to that unless you're really concentrating on the achievements, you're probably not going to get very many of them, I suppose, huh? And I mean, also, too, we're, I think I'm about 70 hours now in American Truck Simulator and still have only 20 of the achievements because maybe just the game is so big. The scale is so big that you just... It just takes a while to get around to them all. So if a person, I mean, the average player, I wonder how much time the average player on Steam plays American Truck Simulator before they move on to something else. I'm sure that you know, 30, 40 hours is maybe the average. I don't know, that that's pretty long, right? Maybe 10 hours, five hours. I mean, some people probably play like 10 minutes and never play again. So it's probably actually really short when you think about it. Although I'm really surprised by the number of people that play a lot like continuously and that's the only this is the only game they play and i don't think i could play that much like every day type of thing like i really like it 
Gira a la derecha. Three times, four times a week, it feels like. Oops, I'm gonna go right here. Oof, not my best turn. But we made it. <clears throat> Can't be late with the milk. Alrighty, anyway, I forget what we're talking. Oh, we're talking about how much people play. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the average player plays and what the average time a player plays who plays more than like three hours. So that like, okay, you're into the game now and then how much do you keep playing and stuff? I feel like it's a game because it's evolving all the time that you can play for a long time and not get sick of it because they just kind of keep adding new things. And it's just, to me, it's very much game meditation. I've used it before. I'll call it game zen and stuff like that. But I really feel like it's a type of thing where you just kind of can fall into and just relax for a little bit. And you're always making progress and there's always so much to do. It's kind of in that way, almost like a, an MM, um, RP, uh, MMORPG, you know, where you can just kind of continually do things, continue to upgrade your trucks and your company, continue to get achievements and see places and see more of the map. There's just so much to do. All right, we are here at the airport, I think. Now, let's see if my parking in the last American Truck Simulator episode was not on, on the Your Truck Simulator was not on target. It's very much off. Let's hopeful that we get a nice 90 here and we can put it right in. Yeah, this is definitely the airport, isn't it? All right. Let's see where we gotta go. 40, ah, oh, man. Wanted a 90. All right. Looks like we're backing up to the gate. So I would think that they would already have the milk in the little cartons, not in a big tanker like this at the airport, right? I don't get it. It's one of these suspicious deliveries. Every once in a while you get like those night trucks where it's, you know, completely pitched back and you're supposed to be delivering like computer parts or something. This is actually not that easy. Or maybe we'll, I, oh, maybe it's easy. This doesn't actually feel very easy at all. That's a tight space. We don't have a lot of room to make this corner. This is not easy. If we look out there. Yeah, that, that's actually going to be challenging. I got to go forward a little bit more here. Can we get it in the first try? What do you think? One shot? Can we make this? We have to come over here a little bit too. All righty. Here we go. We're going to do the one shot. But first, I need a screenshot. I'll be right back. Nope. That's too close to that outer brick there. Did not make it. So, new approach here. We're going to come over here a little bit. Too wide. Straight it out. Yeah, a little bit too wide. Arr, not even two shots here. Rather dismal performance with the parking today. This was actually hard for a 40, I think. That's a that's a tight spot and not much room to work with on the other side. I feel like I feel like we've had 90s that are just as hard as this. But anyway, we are here at the airport and we're parked our milk. I still Anyway, okay, I'll let it go. Let's fire this up see if we get the achievement. Sky Harbor synchronizing with World of Trucks. There, Sky Harbor, nice. All right, another achievement in the bank. We pick up 60,000, yes, we get to level 16. 60,000, 66,000, minus 1,000 for racking it up. We get to pick up one more thing. Here we go, this is what we want. Hazmat, transportation training. What could possibly go wrong? Speaking of wish lists, I know we talked before, and that's one thing I wish too, is you know, like talking about truck damage and stuff like that. I wish the hazardous cargo had more hazardous consequences when you hit something with them. Like if you hit something with, you know, like if you take the, I don't know, acid or something like that, you get an accident with it that you have a huge fine 
or you you know you have to be hospitalized for like two months and time goes forward and your company has to pay its loans or something like that like something more catastrophic if you screw up with one of those hazardous loads i feel like that or you lose your license for like a month or something like that you know i mean that'd be kind of and you could turn it off some people that's going to make some people mad but i would like the tension you know of like to really to really feel the tension of delivering some kind of a high explosive gasoline dynamite or something like that because the moment it doesn't really seem to matter that you have hazardous cargo it's just hazardous cargo we are here fifty eight thousand dollars and we are parked i think we're i was thinking on doing two deliveries today but i think i was talking quite a bit so maybe we'll just do a shorter episode and then we'll be back soon for the next one not sure what we're going to do next we'll bounce back to your truck simulator too i think for the next episode but hopefully going to try to do every other day for the next three days to get a few episodes out right in a row so sometimes short is okay i suppose too and we are in phoenix thanks so much for watching if you've enjoyed it please uh please give it a thumbs up as that helps the helps get the video in front of other people and if you're new please consider subscribing and we'll see you again as we try to work up towards our fourth truck build a trucking empire here and accumulate some more achievements and stuff too. So thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye.